Falcons are 8-4. and four. They won their conference opener against Utah State in a low-scoring game, 49-47. And here's a look at their starting lineup. They are down three starters. Carter Murphy, who's only played 20 minutes all season, is in the starting lineup. They'll lean on number three, Jake Hybreeder and Ethan Taylor, who we talked about moments ago. A couple of French were going to have to lead the way for Joe Scott in his second tenure at Air Force. And this is his second year back, and he's got some really nice pieces. But he's going to have to lean on some guys who have not played very much due to guys being out to COVID. And for Colorado State, they have an outstanding starting lineup. We talked about David Roddy, Isaiah Stevens, just an outstanding junior. He does a lot of things well, but nothing better than taking care of the basketball. Adam Thistlewood, they can count on him to stroke the basketball from deep. And this is a team... Doug, that really shoots the ball well in all three phases. Well, this could be the challenge for uh, for Colorado State, I think, is patience. You know, they, when you haven't played in three weeks, everybody wants to come out and get their shots up. They want to get back to where they were so sharp before the shutdown. And this is an Air Force team that's going to try and make you play slow. On the other hand, if they go to the zone, I mean, this is a Colorado State team that can really pass and really shoot the basketball. Yeah, the numbers on them will document throughout the game, but they're staggering how well they've shot the basketball and shared the basketball. And they've also cherished it. Very few turnovers, only 10 per game. Here's Taylor, the deep three. What a start for the freshman from Houston, Texas, as he knocks down his 14th three of the season to get the Falcons on the board. And they're into kind of that matchup zone where oftentimes you don't know, are they in man, are they in zone? They'll switch. Now it looks like man, but they will hand off switch on nearly every screen except for when Deshaun Thomas sets for Stevens in the corner, shot clock under 10. Roddy, the drive with the left hand block nicely. Good defense there from Nick Jackson. And Nick Jackson back in the starting lineup. This is a guy who started some last year. I mean, really, really good guy to play around considering the system. Now he is really thin, and Colorado State's going to throw some legit size at the Air Force Academy. Well, the Falcons hadn't been playing a lot of players prior to dealing with oh, all these him. COVID issues. Oh, that's nice. A little Princeton cut there, a little back door. They get the two, and that's Vanderschwag getting the field goal. So a quick 5 nothing lead for the Falcons. Stevens, the drive, tough shot. It's an air ball. Carter Murphy, the rebound. And there's Stevens just lacking the patience. And Air Force really just kind of a bit of, bit of a sagging man-to-man. -man. And Stevens takes the bait, drives right into the team, and teeth and throws up a bad shot. Andrews Rod doesn't want the three. Hyde Breeder can't hit the three. Rams want to move quickly. Vindemore with it. He is so quick. Sean Thomas. Tries to play a little bully ball and ends up getting the foul called on Nick Jackson. Again, you mentioned not much depth for Air Force. They're going to have to be really careful in how they use their fouls tonight. Yeah, Nick Jackson, I guess the first one was determined to be a flop. He stands up, he gets hit again, and falls down, and now they call a foul on him. Roddy's been Mr. Everything for Colorado State. Nice pass. And three no good, and Thomas is over the back. Well, you mentioned this to me before we came on there. I mean, you got a team that hasn't played in 24 days. They look a little rusty. It, it, I don't know if it's, it's rusty as much as lacking patience. So Air okay. Force is, is loading up on the basketball. That's why that, that weak side pass is open. Loading up at the basketball means when your man is two passes away, you're all the way over by the Mountain West logo in help. You have to have patience, and you have to take quality shots. Jackson to drive, picks up the dribble, nice Great pass, time. and Murphy gets the two again. Murphy in the starting lineup has only played a total of 20 minutes all season, getting the start tonight. He did play 17 minutes against Utah State. It was the most action he's had all season. And that, of course, is a huge win for the academy. Take down the Aggies. Uh, here's Roddy inside, gets the two, and the Rams are on the board. And that's where they're going to be able to eat tonight. And David Roddy, who we know can... Hits you out to three-point range. Can really shoot the basketball. And sometimes he's got to use that, that big body to score in the post. Uh, an errant pass 
points. This will be a turnover. And you mentioned Carter Murphy's cut, and this is basically how you play four out, one in, even with Princeton, is Jackson gets the basketball, he jump stops, and when you're all hugging up and watching the basketball, a beautiful little back cut from Murphy gets you a layup. When you cut from the wing, technically, that's called the Princeton cut. I stand corrected, but I always learn something next to you, Doug. It's early. We'll show, we'll show you the elbow. We'll show you the chin. And so that's the signal. See how God, Air Force has everybody loaded in the paint. They're going to double, and they make you throw the weak side. That's loading to the basketball. Sean Thomas with it. Roddy will shoot the three. Leaves it short. Another chance here for the Rams. Roddy in traffic gets bumped, and he'll go to the free throw line. Uh, Roddy does everything for this team. Number one in points, rebounds, made free throws, blocks, second in steals. Also, in bright his, also bright as shoes today. He did. Although, I, I don't know. I mean, this one's, this one's a tough call. As Roddy jumps in, and that's a foul. Yep. Ethan Taylor, just wrong place, wrong time. Roddy, a former high school All-State quarterback in Minnesota. That's a That's a... Big, strong-looking quarterback. Well, and they've had some pretty good quarterbacks, you know. I mean, Jalen Suggs, of course, was a former All-State All -State quarterback. Former All-State quarterback who, of course, was a star at Gonzaga last year, now playing for the Orlando Magic. And got a new football coaching staff. With every coaching staff that arrives at Colorado State, they always say, Hey, Nico, could you, could you loan us David Roddy? And Roddy's <laughs> like, no, I'm a basketball player. I'm excited for the Rams. Jay Norvell grew up in my hometown of Madison, Wisconsin. Played his college ball at Iowa. The big fixture in Madison, and he's a great guy and hopefully do great things. He did wonderful things at Nevada. Tough shot, no call, and a shot clock violation. Hydebreeder tried to go to the baseline, couldn't get it done. Falcons off to a good start. They lead 7-3. range as well. Now, Fort Collins, Colorado is the fourth largest city in the state of Colorado. Let's take Denver out of it. Can you name the other two cities that are larger in Col terms of population? Colorado Springs. That's one. Well, of course, Air Force is yes. there. The academy is located. Comes our guy, David Roddy. Uh, Thomas lost it, but he's fouled. It'll go to the free throw line. Durango? No, sir. Okay. No, it's not Greeley. No, but Greeley is over 100,000 people. Now. Okay. And, and, so it wasn't that far off. Fast. Not, that, not that far off. Pueblo's in the discussion as well. Okay. Aurora. Oh, I would not have gotten that. There you go. There you go. All right, Thomas. And he'll come out of the game. This is like a line change for the Rams. Jalen Lake, the freshman, comes into the game. James Moores, the redshirt sophomore from New Zealand, the big fella. And you got Chandler Give Roddy Jacobs. a rest. Yeah. I like Chandler Jacobs a lot. I had a great talk with him before the game. And, of course, he transferred here from Dallas Baptist. All-time leading scorer at Dallas Baptist. For 2,000 points. Get to what he said was really interesting about transferring and deciding to play in a second. Keep in mind, Air Force is down four of their top eight guys as Hybrider misses the three, and they're down three starters, including by far their best player, A.J. Walker, who averages just under 17 points per game. The Falcons up by two. Stevens from 16 off the window, count it. Stevens plays at just a, come a different pace athletically. He just And he gives them so much athleticism defensively. Ooh. Knocking down the shot. That is Carter Murphy. Again, Murphy making the most of this opportunity. And remember, the, the academy, they have their own prep program. They play against junior college players. Beautiful pass from Stevens. Pretty good hands there by Nick Jackson. So even the freshmen have played together and played in the same system and lived essentially on campus. A year before, although last year was just a mess. And they, the the Air Force Academy's prep, they actually play against junior college teams. Not against prep schools. 
Tanjay, the jumper just off. Tanjay had a, quite the season opener when we were here, Doug. 31 points on a 10 of 14 shooting. And, and for a team that shoots it so well, I'm sure there's CSU fans sitting there going like, why? We're giving, getting open jump shots. Why are we not making them? They're not daring you. They're just there. They just And allow you to turn the basketball over. Do the damage yourself as the leg turns it over, trying to play too fast. Jackson wants the three. No. No, that, was, that was way off. No. Suboptimal. I mean, yeah, he's shooting better than 30% from out there. No, that one was yeah. not good. No. Was, Chandler Jacobs showing that you, straight. When you shoot it that bad, you have to look at your hands like it's flipped. <laughs> like, oh, man. Oh, and almost a turnover. Falcons lead by one. Taylor's already hit one. He connects on his second three. This season, Taylor, very impressive freshman. Three times this season, he's been the Mountain West Freshman of the Week. Did you see his bio, what the last note on his, in his bio is that he wants people to know? You tell. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I, I love that. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like that. Now, Ethan Taylor, I mean, uh, honestly, the shooting numbers are going to have to come up, and he's got two threes early here. He's learning to play at this pace, at this level of competition. But he has the complete makeup and skill set, being 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 that you can guard and play every position. And you can shoot with all the other things he can do, handling, passing, creating-wise, well, he's going to have a tremendous career. Somebody's got to shoot this basketball here. I don't think he was aware of it. Yep, got it up late. Great defense from the Rams. Now, now look, that's awesome defense from Colorado State. And you look at the remaining unbeatens in college basketball. USC, of course, lost their Oklahoma State game. A couple other games, the Arizona game, Arizona State because of shutdowns. And Baylor got a win tonight over Oklahoma. They remain undefeated and the number one team in the country. Which brings me to Doug. How are we supposed to really judge teams? We can't. We're not, I mean, right, we we're can't. not seeing everybody playing with their full complement of players as the three is up. No good. I think it's the selection committee, it's going to be so challenging. How you, are you going to look back at every box score and see how many minutes guys played or who was available? No. Uh, it's going to be just so arbitrary. And, and it's interesting because, you know, I haven't, you know, Jeff Goodman, of course, works with us at the stadium. A beautiful nice cut from Murphy. Moore's with the rebound. They give it to the big fella. Uh, Jackson. That was a charge? They call it charge. We got a four-point game at Mobile Arena. We're coming right back. USAA is made for the most perverted fan base, the Rams or the Falcons. Get that QR code, and there it is. Troy Calhoun has had an unbelievable run of success. They had a great season this year, winning their bowl game. Congratulations to Troy on another great season for the Air Force Falcons football team. And, of course, uh... You, know, you have over 20 Air Force Academy alums who are astronauts, so their fan base is out of this world. <laughs> out of this, out yeah, of this yeah, world. Well done, well done. Okay. Right. Nice, too. How about Ethan Taylor? He's got eight hooping. points already. He's hooping. Of course, his mom really pushed for him to come to the academy. And he really helps him out on the defensive end as well. He's got 25 steals already this season. Morris gets the two, James Morris from Auckland, New Zealand. And I think Morris, and you and I have seen him a bunch, he's obviously their kind of classic old school throwback, throw it in the low post center. And especially against Jackson, who he got that offensive foul call, which I, I thought was a terrible call. But he can just take his time and score because he outweighs Jackson by at least 40 pounds. Vanderschwag is fouled by Tanjay. Well, look at this Ethan Taylor drive. We already saw him hit two threes. Now all one hand scores over Moores. You stay home because of your confidence in not just your defense, but also the respect you have for the shooting of Air Force. He makes you pay. And he's been dealing with the old-fashioned flu over the last few days, showing no uh, ill effects. He's been really solid for the Falcons here. Eight of their 15 points. All right, 
Wolf alongside Doug Glatt. Got <laughs> Sorry, take two. Uh, alongside Doug Gottlieb. I've said that name a few times. You'd think it would it'd be a little easier. Uh, glad you're with us from Moby Arena. Oh. And we've got Jalen Lake on the move for the Rams. He created a little space, a little strength from the freshman. What a smart play from Lake. You know, it's just like in traffic. You want to cut somebody off, keep them on your hip. Great play, not allowing anyone to block a shot, let alone Murphy come back and recover. Taylor getting naked number three. Wow. He's on fire. Ethan Taylor. First player in double figures. He's got 10. Well, check that. He's got 11 in the game. So 11 of their 18 points for the freshman from Houston, Texas. Jalen Lakes, three, is good. He's shooting it at 39% from distance. And this is, as a team, they're shooting 43.3% from beyond the arc. And Taylor is fouled. Well, here's that last three. And, and. All right, Air Force inbounding from the baseline. Hybrider off to a slow start. Sanders Wag looks inside. Ryan Corner being forced to place at minutes number 50. He's a big guy, 6'11. And loose ball. Rams come away with it. Kendall Moore brings it up quickly. He'll shoot the three, high arcing three is an air ball. So, so in, in Air Force offense, in the Princeton style offense, there's chin and there's elbow. Okay, we're going to teach about chin and elbow. Okay. Okay, when you flash here to the elbow off that little cut, uh, this is elbow. So a screen away between the two guards, automatically a back cut, and Colorado State doesn't communicate, and that shot will be there all day for Ethan Taylor. Chin and there's elbow. Chin is where the big guy's at the top of the key, and he usually starts with a with a ball screen. And then there's and and look, Joe Scott, of course, turned this league on its heels last time. He was he he was in Colorado Springs. It was really remarkable. They had made the tournament in 40 years. They've only made the tournament four times ever. But, you know, they, they hadn't won 20 games ever before he got there. And they did it with this exact same type of lineup where you start, you build, and eventually, three, four years in, everybody else has turnover and transfers, and you have guys that are completely bought into the system. you got dudes that are tough from being in the academy. All right, someone's got to shoot this here. Oh, he rattles home the three. Hybrider, would you say that this Air Force seems a little ahead of schedule when you talk about the 3 4 window? It's only year two with Joe Scott. That's beating Utah State already yeah. is an incredible win. Um, it's, it's very hard to tell because it, it, one, win does, one win does not a season make. That's a huge win, but remember, they lost to Tarleton State the game right before that. Uh, Roddy is fouled as Ryan Corner picks up the foul. And this has always been the weakness to. The Princeton style teams that play a zone or a matchup is they're big guys because most of them are very skilled at passing and shooting. They don't have a lot of depth of bodies inside. And you can bludgeon them on low post scoring and offensive rebounds. Ronnie misses the free throw. He's a good free throw shooter at 75%. And as a team, they are outstanding. Better than 81%. And they make. 13 and a half free throws a game. This team lights it up more than 83 points per game. And Roddy goes one for two. Four point game, a little less than eight minutes to go in the first half. Taylor being hounded by Kendall Moore. Fans appreciating the defense here at Moby. Taylor 
he's going to launch, has to. Yeah, it's his first miss from deep. Moore's driving. Oh, that's nice. Isaiah Stevens averaging 14 points per game. And, and believe it or not, for Air Force, if you even if you don't get a shot with the shot clock expiring, and that's a turnover, that's not the worst thing in the world. A long rebound or a turnover, well, that's that's exactly what they don't want. You want to make Colorado State defend for the entire shot clock. So far, it's working. Air Force up two in Foco. Come on, all three of those kids are adorable. Right? It's a tough call. You got the one with the little head head monkey and the mask, right? Then you got the little one with the Air Force t-shirt on. Uh, Kyle Brown in the game, that's noteworthy. This is first minutes for Air Force. He is the brother of number four. Check that, I've got my meet people correct. <laughs> it's, it's Carter Murphy's brother is on the team. But Kyle Brown in the game, 34. Oh, tough shot, no. Rivera the rebound. Colorado State offense held in check thus far, just 19 points. Ooh. It's an air ball, but Roddy is there, and he's fouled, I believe, before the shot. It's team foul number five on Air Force. Is that, that Kendall Moore's second air ball? Kendall yes. Moore, he shot an air ball from the, from the top of the key. He shot an air ball. So I just want to get my get it correct here. I was yeah, mentioning you Carter Murphy, Jake Murphy, his brother. Uh, not expected to play, but who knows who, who knows? may get in there today. Who knows? Yeah, Kyle Brown, the sophomore, getting into the game. He's played... Well, played six minutes this year, Kyle Brown. Roddy's jumper, no. And Thomas kicks it out. Thistlewood going to drive it, hang in the air, and miss badly. And Roddy, wow, a scrum in here. Air Force comes away with it, and he gets bumped. And they just can't make a shot. This is what they do to you. It's like classic. You're so frustrated. David Roddy's like, I just took a wide open 17-foot shot. I can't make it. Thistlewood gets a nice little double hut. Now, he should have just stopped and shot the basketball, but that's a nice little move. Doesn't hit rim. Roddy's got the rebound. He gets it taken from a guy who he doesn't even know who he is, not even on the scouting report. No, I'm serious. Like, it's, that's, it's what happens. And you get frustrated. It's very normal. This is a team that, that scoring is never the issue. All right, so Ryan Corner at the free throw line. And he misses the free throw. And yes, to answer your question, that, that was his first free throw of the year. Yes. And that's no See, good. Dan Ryan's just like, F it, I'm just going to shoot it when I'm open. Like, yeah, dude, um, you're not making them. Let's move the ball a little bit. A team frustration thing. Taylor spins out. He's been on target in this first half. Leading his team with 11 points. I don't know what the first half line was in this game. <laughs> the Rams had to be huge favorites. Uh, the, the, the game line changed from 19 to 22 at Tippett. So everyone about, figured out AJ Walker wasn't going to play. Those, yeah. yeah. Well, Joe Scott's got to be pleased that his team has a two-point lead. This is a tough place to play at Moby Arena. These guys are hanging tough. Moore, two air balls, and he gets one to go. Well, good to see he still had the confidence to launch another one. Now they're out of that 1 2 2 zone. They're just in a full court man to man. It sure look like a push off. No That's call. A clock. It gives to Jackson. That's blocked. See if that sparks the Rams. Thistlewood steps into a triple. Count it! Here come the Rams. They lead by four. And Joe Scott wants and gets a timeout. I, 
I don't think it was a timeout. What, what, what was the hold up? Yeah, well, I think they're checking three or, or two. But what a smart play, by the way, by the freshman, Taylor. Doesn't charge there, doesn't charge there, stops, and that, that's what makes David Roddy special. I mean, he's 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 he shouldn't be that athletic, and he is. This would a career 39% three-point shooter. And here comes Isaiah Stevens. He wanted the foul, tried to create the contact. Suddenly, the Rams lead by six, and this time it is an Air Force timeout as the Rams are on an 11-0 run. He turns and he says something. Hey, he's complaining, he's complaining, he's complaining about getting fouled. Now he's talking to the official, and I believe he said something. I think it was actually Kendall Moore, Kendall Scott Moore. went after. Yeah, it was, he was talking to the bench, and Joe Scott did not like anybody talking to his bench. Uh, never a lack of intensity with Coach Scott. Yeah, he's a fantastic basketball coach. Shot clock winding down. Murphy may have to shoot this. Heidbreeder gets it off, spins out, moves the rebound. It's an 11-0 run for the Rams. Chandler Jacobs back to Stevens. Deep three. Tanjay connects. What a season he's having. The junior from Omaha averaging 12 points per game. Leads the team in made threes. Suddenly it is a nine point lead for the Rams. High breeder, the drive. Jackson will look at the hoop after that miss. And getting a dunk blocked as well. And Another shot clock violation. It's the ball movement, though, man. Very positive way of looking at things. I appreciate Basically that. Basically like shell drill. Are you familiar with shell drill? Oh, I do want to know, because they did it here. I didn't yeah. do it on air. The last bucket by Isaiah Stevens, 1,000 points in his brilliant career, and he's still just a junior. So congratulations, Isaiah Stevens. David Roddy, already a 1,000-point score. Kendall Moore. And this thing they built here is pretty special. It's not just that you have all this talent, but so many other college basketball teams, you have guys that score a 1,000, guys that are starters, and then they want to transfer up. They want to leave. They want to find some other spot, find more happiness. And that's not the case. Nico Medved's been able to get away with playing 11 dudes so far this year. They have bought in. They yeah. seem to have a, a real good thing going in terms of Thinking about the team first. Winning helps. Sure does. Conjay, another triple. This time way off. Taylor the rebound. They need some that's more their 30, That's Taylor. their 30 uh, uh, air ball. Now, now, this is not, you're like, well, what is it about Air Force? I don't know. Utah State was one of 19 from three. And that's why the Aggies lost at Clune Arena. <laughs> he gets bailed out. He got himself all spun around, but Taylor to the free throw line. Now, th this is where Ethan Taylor and the Falcons need to be smart. You're not going to. Isaiah Stevens and some of the. And Robert and, and John Tanja and Kendall Moore. Those guys, it's hard to beat them off the dribble. They're so athletic and so strong. Thistlewood, of course, who's the, literally the first recruit Nico Medved brought here, who's going to go to Drake. That's a guy who you might be able to beat off, off the bounce. This is what's numbers are down, but it's just because the other guy's playing well. He's only playing 17 minutes per game. Still knocking out shots, shooting, shooting well from the outside. It's just a really deep Rams team this year. Tanjay, pull up, baseline jumper, no. Boy, it looked like Morris got away with a push in the back. Chandler Jacobs has been pretty quiet. He's going to drive Touch. out of control, and it's an offensive foul. Now, as mentioned, I caught up with Chandler Jacobs, and uh, as he comes in here, and he this is an offensive foul. Great step in, perfect charge, and he actually credited Blake Lickner, who's, who's his head coach at Dallas Baptist, for encouraging him to transfer. Yes. Taylor's struggling with the man-to-man -man pressure. You guys might want to let Jackson bring the basketball up. What happens to the ball screen? 
Anyway, he, he said, like, they got done last year. Remember, he finished four years, scored over 2,000 points at Dallas Baptist. A nice steal. But he understands Selvage, and he gets the steal on cue. And Thistlewood is bumped. So he committed to Texas Tech. A coaching change was made with Chris Beard, and, of course, Coach Adams takes over, commits to it. He said he woke up the next morning, he just had buyer's remorse. He's like, you know, I just, I don't know what it was. There was nothing negative about them. I just, I didn't feel like the decision was right. So then he was kind of floating in that ether of, okay, I could go play professional basketball or not. And he actually, Ali Farouk Banesh, of course, the former star at, at Northern Iowa, who's on the staff at Colorado State, sent him a, hey, just checking in with you. Hope you're doing well. After an IG post he posted where he hadn't decided what he was going to do. And he said it just at that moment he felt like Fort Collins was the place for him. Amazing. And Stevens hits another three. And I, I said, uh, but are you happy? He's like, I'm ecstatic. I said, yeah, but you went from being the best scorer that school had ever had to a bench player, a role player. And he's like, you know what? My role is just still the same. It's just fewer minutes. He's like, but the people here and the culture we have is so outstanding. Well, nice pass. And a two there for Hyde Breeder. But it's one of those things that I, I think we, I think sometimes we wrap ourselves thinking that coaches, when you transfer out or you transfer up a level, that coaches will hold it against you. Blake Flickner, he's like, look, you've done everything you can do here at Dallas Packers. Go give it a try and then go make some money playing overseas. Nice pass from Stevens. This would trap more. Not this time. Air Force had it, and they would get the basketball. They could hold it almost all the way to halftime, just a 2.2 second difference. Game clock to shot clock. Well, Air Force got out of the gate quickly. Over the last six or seven minutes, it's been all Colorado State. Let's see if Falcons can get at least a good look here in their final possession. Taylor, nice pass, three on the way, is good. Rattles home for Vanderswag. Well, that's how you beat pressure defense, and Colorado State is a little bit late to rotate. They like to stay home. Steven, that's a wild three, way off. What an effort from Air Force. What an effort. Down four of your top eight, including your leading scorer, against a team that, albeit they hadn't played in 24 days, is one of three remaining undefeated. But you know the results a little later. Well, and and it, was, it was interesting that Colorado State basically did the hockey substitutions in the first half. And the, the second five seemed to outplay the first five. And now if you look at the starting lineup, they're going back to the original starting lineup, and we'll see how this group, they didn't play poorly, they just didn't make shots. Stevens, the drive, tough shot, yes. Nicely done, Isaiah Stevens. A couple years ago, he was a Mountain West Freshman of the Year. Last year's second team all Mountain West. Projected to be first team this year, along with David Roddy. Banners Wag, hands off. And Ethan Taylor, they're looking for him. It's Kendall Moore, the steal, and the finish. Well, I didn't see any contact. No, no, he's called a goal tag. Oh, okay. Copy that. No, maybe they did call. Oh, no, he's waving it off saying yeah, no. Okay. It's not so, a foul. So th this is the ultimate respect for Kendall Moore defensively. just got to run through. Whoever he's guarding is not bringing the ball up the court. Right? He, I mean, Taylor brought it up the first half. Right. And they're like, yeah, well, let's. Now Taylor's like, no, I got it. I got it. Uh, that was a significant hoop for Kendall Moore. Uh, scored his 900th point. So we got 1,900 points combined between the two backcourt mates from Colorado State. And another 1,000 in the court with Roddy. And then you got, and then you got Chandler Jacobs who scored over 2,000 points at Dallas Baptist. Hello, Hybrider hits the three. They needed that. He's got two threes in the game, six points. Deficit half a dozen for the Falcons. Kendall Moore's triple is an air ball. That's his third air ball of the night. Now watch Kendall Moore. He just cuts through this screen and gets the run through and the finish. See, it was just a goal. It's a goal. Goal ten. ten, yeah. 
And the very next play, Taylor drives in and beautiful step in jump shot from Heidbringer. That was from deep. Roddy wants to go to work. He's in the office. He loves to pass out of that as well. Tough shot. I guess, but he turned away from the double team to his strong hand. It doesn't seem contact doesn't affect him at all. It's that football toughness. Manderswan picks up the dribble. Jackson took one three from the top that he missed badly, and as Doug mentioned, he's not even looking at the rim anymore. Great cut. Uh, nicely done. They get the easy two. Good look. And that position is so important for how Air Force plays. you got to have a little bit of shooting there since so you can open up the floor for cuts like that. But traditionally, they've had guys who play in the five who can make that shot as... David Roddy going to work, gets the two. David Roddy went to halftime and said, forget all this jump shot stuff. I'm just going to start scoring when I get the basketball. Well, he's got eight points in the game. That's two trips right at point blank. Jackson. Good defense from Roddy. Uh, spins into the double team, leaves it short. Roddy the rebound. And Roddy will bring it up. Up. Turnover for the Rams. Unforced error there. Now keep an eye on, on what David Roddy's doing defensively. They know the help's coming from the baseline. Roddy trusts his teammate, and they're forcing it. And look, there's the help right there, and it confuses Jackson into the miss. Colorado State, they'll vary their coverage, but they like to force that, and they like to help and double from the baseline. Roddy, oh, it's a good idea cutting... High breeder, the throw or the excuse me, the pass. Aaron so that's nine turnovers now for the Falcons. They average 15 turnovers per game. I mean, you feel for Nick for, for Nick Jackson, but you also think, hey, it's not like they're going to take you out of the game. Right? Just, you know, you don't have to look over your shoulder tonight. Well, I mean, you might even be going to get yelled at a little bit, but you can take it. Well, one thing we know, the level of mental toughness for these Falcons is a little bit different than everybody else. And Kendall Moore will go to the free throw line. Check that. That's Isaiah Stevens will go to the free throw line. Jackson picks up his third foul. That could be significant. They just don't have much depth tonight. Drives in and draws the foul. Okay, so are you familiar with what a dually is? I'm not. That's the name of a first-year student. The first year cadet in Air Force, right? I, mean, I believe Plebe is at the uh, the at West Point, okay, and a dually, dually, and and the life of a dually is a very very difficult one. You're basically not only learning the ways of the Air Force, learning the ways of the force, but you're also kind of the upper classmen can kind of within reason make you do whatever they want to make you do. Oh, I was not aware of that. Yes, yeah, that's uh, like see, that see you're, you know, so you're, you're getting up at six in the, before six in the morning every morning. You're making your bed. You're, you know, you're getting ready to eat and go through everything. Go, you know, go through everything you have to do. And you're also are you carrying doing. bags to the bus on a road trip? I mean, I, I would actually think more than that. And it's okay, on well, campus. You know. <laughs> they can stop you on campus. Yeah, and check this is your a uh, PG program. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not out of line. Oh, nice three-point shot. Camden Vanderswag hits the three. Seven-point game. Falcons figuring out a way to just hang around. Roddy content to just back it all the way down and then go get it. <laughs> it's not fair. It's a bully ball. And Nick Jackson got just got one in the chops. And he's playing with three fouls, so he has to be careful. Roddy, knowing the situation, takes advantage. Nice look. Murphy's three is pure. Carter Murphy hits the three. And it's back to a six-point game. Well, the Air Force got to be not very happy about that. He's been, he's, he's been the head coach at two places where he's been previously. Obviously, Furman, where he was an assistant. 
And then, of course, Colorado State, where he was an assistant. Drake for a year in the middle. A really fascinating guy who, an outstanding offensive coach. And, Part of that Tim Miles staff. And one of the real good guys. I mean, he's just all easy those, go. All those Tim Miles oh, guys yeah. who don't take themselves terribly seriously. Uh, Craig Smith, that whole bunch. It's a great crew. And they've been really successful in the front range where it is traditionally hard to get players and to win consi cons uh, consistently. And his wild with Jacobs all over him. There's that baseline double. No one, it's coming. Weak side three is open. It's hard to get it there. Good look that time for Hybrider who hit his last three-point attempt. Jacobs picks up the dribble. Jalen Lake back in the game. They're really excited about his future. The freshman number 15 is Tanjay. I'm just telling you, I got literally... It's a total of five on my count for the team. I have six, actually. Okay, six, six, okay. six on my count. I'm trusting your math ahead of mine. All right, we'll be right back. there would be no math. Do you know? Do you know? Can you answer the question? Of course, it's the great Greg Popovich. Air Force alum. You know who else went to the Air Force? Remember uh, Sully Sullenberger? Sure, the, the pilot? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he, he, Tom Hanks played him in, in the movie about saving the U.S. Airways 1549. Ninth class a of 1973. true American hero. Oh, Moore's basket and the foul. All set up by Jacobs penetration that dribble penetration. He just misses the left-handed layup and then Because the help comes the weak side board is open It's a big moment for Moore. He's got a chance to make a free throw it hasn't happened yet this year Boom Knocks it down There's a big dip in the free throw throw for him, but Goes in so the lead is nine points Not sure what they're looking at here. Any ideas? Could be a three-pointer from earlier in the half. They go back and check it out. Could be a shot clock issue, a timing issue. Those are the two things they can go back and change. The nine-point lead for the Rams or, matches or, their largest lead of the game. This is smart. Those two guards, they're like piranhas. You know, and Chandler Jacobs guards some, but won't throw them in the mouth from defense. Uh, they were just switching who the foul call was yeah. on from Jackson uh, to Taylor. That's the other Taylor. thing they switch, and there's Chandler Jacobs again. Another misslay. Oh, and Moore's kid get in there. Ooh, foul for the ooh, pink guy goes ooh, down. Ooh, hard right ooh. corner. Ooh. Morris picks up the foul. Most importantly, we're going to check on the health. Another layup that just tricks off from, from Jacobs. It's a quiet night for Jacobs. Just two points. And the beauty of this Rams team, I mean, they're so deep, so many scorers. The guy's going to have an off night and still put up plenty of points. Score a little bit in the second half. He's got 13 points. He hasn't looked to score at all in the second half. Right. Vanderswag, nice take. I'm impressed. Vanderswag making the most of his opportunity. Remember, look who they're attacking. Okay, you're attacking more. You're attacking the bigger bodies. Excuse me, Moore's, not Kendall Moore. You don't want to attack Kendall Moore or this guy, Isaiah Stevens. They're just so strong defensively. A good block from Taylor. Only down seven. It's 13 minutes and counting. Taylor, this is your moment. He doesn't want the three. Now he does. A little short. Jacob's the rebound. There's also a fatigue factor. You're 
Now, they, they train at altitude, and Fort Collins is just below a mile high, but you're not used to playing 40 minutes. Players dream, like in theory, but at some point in time, you're actually tired. High breeder, Taylor, and Vanderswag have played every minute. And three subs coming in for the Rams. Rivera, Roddy, and Kendall Moore back in the action. We haven't seen Rivera yet. I mean, that's how they have so many guys. But he, he played this up in the first half. He did. Uh, he had four, four minutes of action, no scoring from Rivera in the first half. They just throw waves at you. Drive. Very nice. High breeder gets the two. He is the current Mountain West freshman of the week. So between him and Ethan Taylor, they've won it four times this year. Tanjay, nice spin, leaves it short. Taylor the rebound. I mean, it's a five-point game. Yeah, I know. Taylor the drive. Tough shot. Yes. Ethan Taylor's first points in the second half, and it's a three-point game. Fans here at Moby trying to get their team going. A little low for the Rams. Go to this guy. He can solve a lot of problems. Then they double Roddy. They just switch. They just yep. fly switched. And another turnover. And Rivera got attacked defensively, then dropped the ball offensively. A 6-0 run for the Falcons. Taylor had that nice move. Set him up in some space. Go the other side. Murphy's three. Yes! Carter Murphy deadlocked at 48. Are you kidding me, Air Force? Wow, wow, oh, wow. Kidding? Game looked like it was getting out of hand. And then Air Force said, you know what? Back in Fort Collins, Colorado, we have, we got a situation brewing. Take a look at number three, Jake Heidbringer. But actually, more importantly, watch number 22. That's Nick Jackson. He comes over, and you think he's going to set a ball screen because, well, that's what Air Force has done. He does, go ahead and roll it. That's called a veer screen or a ghost screen. You act like you're going to set the screen, and then you just kind of slide to the side. Why is that a big thing? Because of the way in which Colorado State guards ball screens, and they switch that action. If you think a switch is coming, you're not playing as hard defensively. And that's allowed Air Force to get in the lane a couple times here on offense. Air Force on a 9-0 run. A that's a good foul there. Don't give them the easy two. Yeah, more than anything, great movement out of the timeout. It's not just getting David Roddy the ball in the low post in his office where he's a tremendous passer and scorer, but the cutting and movement. Our current tie score, the first tie since it was seven all early in the first half. And Air Force's last lead was a 21-19. They're huge underdogs tonight. They would have been underdogs, and then four of their top eight players out with COVID, including three starters and their best player, A.J. Walker. But Joe Scott has the Falcons battling on the road at Moby Arena. All right, well, Doug Gottlieb, so glad you're with us on stadium. This has turned into an outstanding game. Colorado State, one of three remaining unbeatens in America. Baylor, USC, and Colorado State. Carter Murphy, who until the last game, had only played a few minutes. Number four has hit some huge shots. Jackson in trouble, misses. Roddy the rebound. How good is Kendall Moore defensively? Outsized by a good four or five inches, and he just low man wins. Wouldn't let Jackson get him in a spot. Rivera hits the three. He's now six of nine from distance this season. Uh, you you, you got to give Nico Medved some credit there because Rivera checked in the game, and he made two mistakes in a row. And obviously it's a tie game. A lot of coaches would pull a guy out and go back to his starters. This is why people like playing for Nico Medved. Let's guys play through some things. 
even as he's playing a lot of guys. And there's a bump. Oh, it's going against Air Force. Rivera simply popping out. These jump shots have been open all game as Air Force has gone under those handoffs. And Jackson now picks up his fourth personal foul. I thought Lake reached out, but it was on the screen. Foul call on the handoff. Yep. So four-point lead for the Rams. They have the basketball. A little less than nine and a half minutes to go. Tanjay. It's usually instant offense. And a foul call there on Ryan Corner. Got a bunch of the ball, but got him on the body. So Tanjay to the free throw line. Third on the team in scoring at 12 points per game, and he does it in just 23 minutes per night. And one of the great things about Tanja, we mentioned in the both the previous games we were here, he was on the B team as a freshman growing up in Omaha and made himself up and made himself out to be a star. Everybody thought he was going to UNO, Nebraska Omaha. He ends up here, and he's become an outstanding weapon for them, either starting or off the bench. But, you know, one of the great things about a Robert Tanji is it's really hard to play this many guys in college. It just is. Can this work through no. a whole season? It cannot. No. Okay. No. You'll, you'll, you'll trim the bench once you get to the, the big conference games. I mean, you'll, 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 you'll shrink, your, shrink your bench a little bit. But they have a lot of players like a Tanji who just don't have the ego of some of the other High major players that are playing at the Mountain West level. Now just short from Vanderswag. Moore so fast. He's strong on it. Murphy comes away with it. That was an air ball, too. All right, it's at seven. Just doesn't make any sense. Colorado State is such a very good offensive team. One of the best shooting teams in America. Yeah. And it's, again, it's one thing to miss. Everybody misses. It's how you miss sometimes. You miss badly like that. That's, that's 24 days off for you. Breeder can't get off the jumper. Taylor may have to go to work here. And he gets bumped. Foul on the Rams. Just their second team foul. I don't know about that one. Joe South's been, chirp been chirping all game long. And I don't know. A little hand there. Come on, man. That's a terrible call. Let him play. That's a, that's not a good guy. That's very good defense. And I think Joe's sitting there going like, hey, look, that's the same call we you made on us at the other end on my freshman big guy. Let's see what they've got out of the out-of-bounds play. Six-point game. Tough shot, basket and the foul. How about this junior, Camden Vanderswag, comes in averaging four and a half points per game. He's already got a dozen in this one and a chance for three. A standing move. Vanderswag, from Johnston, Iowa. Four tonight, only attempted one free throw. Off the back iron. So four point game as we hit the eight minute mark. Roddy wants it in the post. A little late delivering the pass, and Air Force almost comes up with it. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Roddy, corner three. No. Falcons could turn this into a one possession game. This makes no sense, by the way. I mean, other than the, the, the three three plus week layoff, Air Force without four of its top eight. Taylor kind of stumbling game. and somehow gets it to go. This makes no sense. How about that? You get on a bus. They found out right before they got on the bus two hours away yesterday that they wouldn't have their leading scorer and best player. 
They got four guys sitting in street clothes that are just not cleared with protocols. They actually have, they, they, they are asymptomatic. So they got four dudes that could play, but based upon the protocol. What are you serving today? <laughs> <laughs> What's on the menu? I had a rough travel day. I'm hoping you got something nice Arnold cooked up. Arnold Palmer's always on the menu. All right, what a game. A two-point game, 7.05 to go, second half. How is Air Force doing this? The game's played at their pace, and they're doing at Colorado State what they, really what they did to Utah State. Frustrating them and shooting contested jump shots. Man. Ryan Corner is giving them nice minutes at the five spot off the bench for the Falcons. Nick Jackson has four personal fouls. Andrew Schwab. You know how tired he's going to be when the adrenaline wears off? He and I have played all year. Comes up and... Oh, there may be a, if they can come up with a win, there'll be plenty of adrenaline on that bus oh, to keep I, up I for a bit. That. All right, shot clock, Vanderswag, deep three. Oh, 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 he almost had it. I mean, that's how, that's, I mean, look, if they lose this game, that's how close they were to retaking the lead, and this thing's a different ball game. See if they get a stop now. Thomas got a huge mismatch. The three is no good. Colorado State will get another look. Nicely done. He's a gifted scorer, gets the two. And, and corner just too tired to get that basketball. He should have got the defensive rebound. And think about that. We talk about make miss league in the NBA. That thing goes in and out. And then you don't get a defensive board. Now it's a four point game. What could have been a one point lead. I wonder when you go back to Nick Jackson, he's on the bench with four fouls for the Falcons. Honestly, corner might have been, he's been better. Colorado State wins the fan base competition by a large margin. They have great fans here in Fort Collins. Why is the guy yawning? Why are you yawning? You got a four point game here, dude. Can't take this one for granted. Most spirited fan base goes to the Colorado State Rams. And this is a good environment, but when the students are in session, it's an incredible environment here at Moby Arena. Jackson is back in the game, corner to the bench. Jackson against Roddy, I can't imagine they want him going one-on-one -on -one against Roddy. And he loses it. Chandler Jacobs finds the open shooter. Tajay, three-point basket and the foul. Play at the other end. Is that a foul? I'd love to see it from one different. Here's a different angle for it. I'd have, to, I'd have to see it from the game angle. It did not look like there was a foul unless Tanjay kicked out his feet and hands. Tanjay gets the four point play, gets the lead to eight points. He now has nine points in the game. Stevens continues to be the top scorer for the Rams with 13. Air Force really needs a bucket this trip. Taylor, two defenders in his face, is going to drive, and he's going to get some free throws. All right, so you make the call. You tell me if there's a there's a foul on this three. Here's the game angle. He did seem to hit him yep, on no, the end. Yep, that's a foul. That's a foul. And these are big free throws here for Ethan Taylor. 68% on the season. He's two for two tonight. He's got 17 points to lead all scorers, and they're saying it's not a shooting foul. So all that he went to the line, got ready. That is the 15th foul on the Rams. The Falcons have already committed seven to the Rams in the bonus the rest of the way.
They've been content to work the shot clock all night. And it's worked well for him. Murphy, the step back jumper, got it. A long two for Carter Murphy, and what a night for him. He's got 13 points on five of six shooting, and he's three of three from distance. I just want to remind everyone, Carter Murphy, before the Utah State game, had played three minutes all season. I mean, look, this is the perfect embodiment of where these two teams are. Air Force, no names in the back of their jersey. Somehow it's a six-point game. Crazy. 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 But you, did you notice the, the different shoes, right? Yeah. You got Jacobs wearing kind of like an aqua blue. It's like Nico would be like, yeah, let them express themselves no, no, in their footwear. Yeah. Right, he has the three if he wants and doesn't want it. Oh, almost a turnover. That's going to be out of bounds off Air Force. Still 15 on the shot clock. Steven step back three. No. And the Falcons have the ball in a two-possession game less than four minutes to go at Moby. I just, I just don't understand why David Roddy doesn't get a touch in the low post. Jackson's got four fouls, and he can't guard him. Highbreeder and Taylor, the two freshmen, have been outstanding. Little Great nice cut. cut. And Murphy somehow gets rid of it. Vanderswag from 15. Just off. Oh. Well, Roddy was open for a moment. Couldn't find him. Stevens before the shot, but already Stevens is excellent at going downhill and creating that contact. And Joe Scott just kind of apoplectic. Like, how's my guy supposed to guard him? But he's so explosive. Big one and one here. Stevens, an 86% free throw shooter. Not good, great. Great at the line. Was for the greater because I said, oh, I said, I said okay. not great. I said he's a great free throw shooter. He's, he's a money free throw shooter. And that's not a bad miss. Out and out. But. I think you want to attack this award if you can off the bounce. All right, shot clock. Someone's got to shoot. Murphy fade away. Almost got it. That's a bump. Taylor's fouled. What a great act from the freshman. They do not have acting classes, but Ethan Taylor, he got pushed a little bit by Chandler Jacobs, but threw his arms up and actually looked at the official at, before he came down on the, on, on, to the to the surface. Well, Nico is shaking his head there. He must be thinking, what is happening here? How are we only up by six? Someone's got to heave this. Oh, they're not going to get it off. Joe Scott literally looks over. Says, Carter Murphy said, shoot, shoot the, ball. the ball. What player doesn't want the coach to say that to him? Just shoot it. All right, 225 left in a six-point game. Roddy gets it in the post, immediately doubled. Jacobs, that's nifty. And Air Force needs points here, running out of time, less than two minutes. Vanders, what a pass! And Jackson the flush. How about these gutty Falcons? Well, this is really the first roll of the game. Hey, I feel like that's an excuse in the first half, maybe. You play out a half under your belt. I give a ton of credit. Air Force, they have just battled. Can they get a stop and a chance to make it a one-possession game? Pond 
Jay the triple, no. Long rebound, that's a collision that Roddy's gonna win every time. But it's out of bounds, it'll be Air Force basketball. 94 seconds remain in a six point game. And this is not an offense that specializes in the quick hitter. But again, I want to get Adam, I want to get Adam Thistlewood. And I love it that you want Carter Murphy to be the go-to guy here. This is awesome. No, 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 it doesn't have to be Carter Murphy. And... Well, just, that's who Thistlewood was guarding. So that's right. And, and Anderswag threw an absolute bullet. He takes one dribble to improve his angle. They have a layup to Ethan Taylor. No, I wanted Ethan Taylor because Colorado State will switch. You get Ethan Taylor in some action with Adam Thistlewood. That's the matchup you want. Copy that. 14 turnovers now for Air Force. That one should have been a layup. Stevens on the baseline. Tough shot. No fight for the rebound. Loose ball. It will remain Colorado State basketball. Now, here's what you're, if you're Air Force. You should do the, the circle thing to go have them review it because it's under two minutes. I still don't think it would be your ball, but it'll give you a chance to catch your breath and figure out what you want to do here with 56 seconds to go. And there's 20 on the clock, and that was you down six. Roddy, the drive and the finish. And Colorado State gets a timeout of 8.53 seconds remain. At Princeton is all a mater. And you mentioned fatigue potentially being a factor. Three players, Hybrider, Taylor, and Vanderswag have logged all 39 minutes to this point. Got him. Good luck, and Jackson to the free throw line. I actually had Ethan Taylor open for three as Jackson slipped. Two shots here for Nick Jackson. All right, so if you were going to vote, who would you vote for? I usually like to take the guy from the winning team, but in this case... I feel like Ethan Taylor really, he, he, he was the bigger surprise, and he made more of an impact for his team. Roddy's got such a talented team. I'd go with Taylor. I'm going to go with Roddy, and my logic is not just the offensive numbers. He has really frustrated Nick Jackson at the defensive end. In that low post. And taking the ball from him with some spots. I mean, Roddy's only had to play 25 minutes. Poor Taylor's been out there for all 40. You got poor Taylor. What basketball player doesn't <laughs> want to play 40 minutes? That's true. I just, just There's never been a guy that's like, coach, Take me out of the game. Coach, take me out and, like, leave me out as long as I can. <laughs> the only time guys take themselves. I remember my brothers at San Diego State at the time. They were building into a powerhouse that right. they become. And he told me, he's like, I'm telling you, Air Force in like two years, they're trouble. And sure enough, you know, Joe Scott's last year before he went home to Princeton, and Chris Mooney, and then Jeff Pizdelic. This thing will work eventually. That's team foul number nine, so it'll be the one and one with 31.7 seconds. And Stevens, who missed the front end of a 1-1, -one -one, has a chance to redeem himself. I'm sure they wanted to foul, not foul Stevens. It does, the, the announcer jinx only works once, by the way. That just shows there is no announcer jinx. There is no. If, if you want to take a picture of how you're supposed to shoot free throws, I, I know how not to shoot them. That's how I shot them. This is how you shoot free throws. Everybody has a routine, but the hand, the balance, the ball spinning, the ball through, I mean, it's hard. That cat's not going to play. All right, nine-point lead. Now less than 30 seconds remain. Colorado State is going to remain one of three undefeated teams in America. Oh, and a block from Tom Jan. And Roddy will be fouled in the backcourt. So, so the question becomes, you know, like, what did we learn? Like, Colorado State, bit rusty, Air Force playing their style, showing their toughness, showing where Joe Scott's eventually going to take them. I'll tell you what we learned. Like, as of now, and I think some of it is how they played, but as of now, this feels like the finishing five or six guys for Colorado State. They, he'll, he'll play 11, but this is the five or six. He's trying to figure out Chandler Jacobs' offense. 
you have to have a guy who can drive and just score buckets, especially going to his right hand. Do you really see Kendall Moore not being on the floor? No, he's he been is. on the floor. He's okay. been that's the sixth yeah, guy. He's right. the sixth of okay. the of the six. He can put him in for Thistlewood. Now they become uber athletic, and Tanja goes to the four, and Roddy is Roddy is the five. But you know, it's not how you start. I mean, remember, Deshaun Thomas started, did not play a ton the second half. Talented shot blocker yeah. can make three. Played 13 minutes. Yeah. Hard game for him though, how he plays. Taylor. Ends it. That kid's gonna be good, man. Really good. Yep. So Colorado State is 11 0. They remain unbeaten. A 67 59 win over Air Force. That, that is respect. Look at Nico. He's sitting there going, like, bro, you can coach some ball. I don't like playing against your teams. You go and do that to everybody else. <laughs>